everyone. Now, if you are not awake yet, and I suspect you are because you people are loud, which I love, <laughs> this is going to wake you up. Please welcome Colin and Justin Yay! with a mind-blowing project. Woo! Oh, my goodness. Woo! Listen. So many of us, no matter what stage in life we are at, we will go to Ikea, we will try and get something that's reasonably priced and make it look good in our homes. And you can do that with Ikea because the prices, the price points are great. For sure. But I have never in my life seen the use of lac shelves the way you guys have done them. So lac, L-A-C-K, those correct. are the shelving units. They're floating shelves, but you can put them in any configuration you want. And you we're going to show you four ways to do it, Colin and Justin style, very I'll creatively. I'll tell you, your eyes will come out in stocks when you see what we've done. These are such a generic. <laughs> A, a generic stock product. 30 yeah. bucks for the big fella like this. Yeah, $10 for this size. And I think they're here. about 15 bucks for these. Now, the secret with anything, as we've always said, is look at it differently. Think about what you can do to personalize. And the essence, Tracy, of CityLine for us is about making things come alive and work in your space. Right. These are the medium shelves. Now, rather than just hang them in a regular way like most people do, we've, we've recolored them in these gorgeous pastel shades because pastels, guys, whether you like it or not, are breaking through for 2000 2014. Yeah, they are. Big colours. So the greens, the blues, the yellows, the pinks. We've accented, and this is a really good thing to think about when you're using pastel shades, accent with a really big primary colour. Mm -hmm. We've used red here. Also putting the shells in these interesting angles and then cutting some dowel and putting a section in between each gives the impression they're all suspended beautifully of one anchor point. That's Very such cool. an easy thing to do. It's yeah. all about looking at things differently and thinking out the box. So you didn't necessarily, you didn't put it all the way through. Like you don't have holes going all the, uh, all the way through. You've just got a, a little, you've measured a piece yeah. of... It's a cheat. The thing is, you know, these are wall hanging shelves, invisible yeah. brackets. You put the bracket onto the wall, you slide the shelf on there and it seems to float. Yeah. So you can play lots of different tricks and that's what we're going to explore doing this it's one shelf so many possibilities you know I mean this one it's for the young for the young at heart you know and we Does just that include love. me it, of course just like am you. I still young I get confused am I still young well, well, I think just so. anybody's yeah. boy you, you know, are you know this is the easiest thing you can do I mean, anyone can operate a paintbrush okay you know yeah. we've used Benjamin Moore Aura it's an eggshell finish you use a small gloss roller mm -hmm. and actually build up the colour you know small coats are better than one thick coat right. and that way you'll get a really professional mm. almost kind of like spray paint look you know and I think that's the takeaway with this look as well I mean the accessories are insane as well it's a joke of ours like if we're actually creating a room for someone and we stand back and we say mm, I think something's missing we always go I'll oh, put a bird on it <laughs> and, um, and you just bird figurines everywhere so we decided to take that to the next level these are from HomeSense yeah but I think this is great takeaway as well I mean they're like 14 99 12 99 11 99 if you actually have one common theme like the bird, then you can take inexpensive items, put them together in your own flock, and create a great design experience. Absolutely. You know what? There's something also very Easter about this yeah. whole look. And Easter. And this is, this yeah. is sort of the time of year we're at. But Easter. Yeah. It is. Oh, it is. Easter. <laughs> Where's my egg? <laughs> I'm about to oh, lay oh, it. Oh, no, there's something about it. Do you know, okay. <laughs> you just laid an egg. It's, do you know what? This, I, I love this, Tracy, because it didn't cost us a fortune. And I'll tell you That's what. That's what I love. On on the show today, guys, we're not just going to be talking about things to do with the shelves as shelves. Yeah. We're going to later on in the show show you some really clever ways to make tables, two different types Ooh. of tables, one of which will be a simple console table to sit along the side. Yeah. One of them will be a dramatic structure. They're frantic that we Oh, my go. goodness, Let's dramatic. Walk Let's, Let's walk go and talk. Let's go Okay, look. so tables and shelving. Exactly. Um, I don't know what you describe this as, but I love it. Blinking um, gorgeous. Uh, you know it's what? just gorgeous. gorgeous. Same old black shelf. It. Okay, given a coat of beautiful blue paint again by Benjamin Moore and this is our kind of Miami chic meets Jonathan Adler Ooh, extravaganza yeah. and I think the key I love <laughs> so it's like that. Small, it's a Ooh, small title. Ooh. Ooh, did you get, I'm going to say that again. <laughs> Miami Ooh. chic Jonathan Adler extravaganza. With a touch of golden girls slung in for good measure. Just, well, a, little yeah. Yeah. Just, a, little Just a little sprinkling. Yeah. Sprinkle. That was Justin's input. He's like a young <laughs> Sophia Petrone. I am exactly. <laughs> Better than Blanche Devereaux. <laughs> Just saying. I like she got being, I like being oh, popular. Did. Anyway, um, you know, the look here, it's quite decorated, you know, and it's inspired by these little figurines and pieces here, a lot by the great ceramicist Jonathan Adler. Mm -hmm. And his work is really decorated, really joyous. Yeah. You know, and I think that's the key mm. for this look. Another important thing as well to think about is using paint. Now, obviously, we changed the colour of the shelves over there. We've done the same here. These started off as black shelves. We've painted them blue. But giving them an anchor down the middle with a big, big slab of colour. And then maybe 
thinking about, okay, where am I going to put them? What's my accent zone? Can I actually frame that around in the same colour way? Now, another really important thing, and this is something we always counsel, when you're using monochrome, now monochrome isn't just black and white. Monochrome is any white and other colour played at one time. Ping in a third tone, and that will really, we call it giving the eye somewhere to go. It allows your scheme to magnify visually. So not just black and white, not just blue and white, not just orange and white, always slam in that extra shade of color to really zing it up. Right. Meanwhile. Okay, give me some of these. I love these. Aren't these great? Aren't these That's fabulous? what I was wondering, They're... how you did that. So these... this isn't freehand painting or anything. No, no, no. these come from a company called myoverlays.com. So cool. That's not myoverlays.com that. because that'd be different. <laughs> My MyOverlays.com. My now these My come overlays. in so many different patterns. This lovely oh. little grid, almost Moorish shape here. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm He's Harry Potter. You've turned it down, John. Hold on a little second. These are fabulous. They're good, aren't they? <laughs> oh, look how flexible these are. They're and to great. Do, to do one shelf, you're only looking at about fifteen dollars. Now I love these because you can use them in a million different ways. Yeah. What you did there was interesting, Tracy. You, you laid that on. There's no reason that you can pick out an accent zone and then frame out the whole thing using this. We've obviously used them because they're perfectly sized by my overlays to right. actually fit the zone in this case, the light shelf. I love that. It's uh, fresh and zingy. So you can paint these out too. Any like they look want. like material that's going to be really good with paint. You can yeah. do whatever you need to do with but them. But the amazing thing about this is, you Ooh, know, nice. it's a really young company. Oh, gorgeous. Oh, I yeah. love that. Well, put it on a bit of a diagonal, I think. Oh, is that the top It's very slim. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it draws the eyes down there, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, look yes, at that look it at that does. Guy. We are working it. You know, it's a young company. And they actually make these items and they're all specifically made for IKEA products, which is great. You know, so you don't have to cut them. So you're always going to find a match. Yeah, so you just look up, maybe you've got like a mom chest, maybe yeah. there's something else. You just type in the uh, the code into their website and it will show you all the possibilities. Ooh, very smart. Look, we love it. It's the Chill 90s, out. the chokers are back. Oh, nice. Not 1993, Carl, nice. right? Well, right back in time, missus. Uh -huh. Right back in time. All right, we've done so much decorating. I think it's time to eat. Oh, let's have some oh, food.